Now we start to have these little phrases. We're going to talk about Nika's dream today. Okay, the opening little chord progression. B flat minor major to A flat minor major. I actually have some pretty specific opinions on what these chords should actually be versus what we might see in the real book, but we're not really going to worry about that. We're going to just take them as they are, minor major seven chords, and we're going to apply this quadratonic that we've been discussing all week, this major triad, adding the tension flat six note to it. We're going to apply that to these two chords as upper structure triads. So we're going to start really slow, okay, and we're going to try and build up to a point where we can improvise over these without sounding like we're outlining with arpeggios, without sounding, sounding like we're noodling inside of scales, um, and without getting too trapped inside of just sort of the standard chord tone scale arpeggio thing, uh, or riffs, like we just wanna be able to improvise and come up with nice melody. So we're gonna start slow. We're gonna begin just with the basic triads. Okay, these are upper structure triads, but we're going to start with just basic major triads over these minor major chords. And then we're going to kind of develop a little bit more fluency and add in this tension note, tension flat six, our Batman note. And then maybe we'll add in some chromaticism. We'll see where it takes us, okay? I don't have any riffs notated on the PDF because I'm not going to be playing any riffs. I might throw in Monday's riff that we worked on a couple days ago just to show you how it can fit over this, but even that I might not do, right? The whole point of this is just to learn to see the basic fundamentals and then to be able to stand on top of them and move around freely. However, that might play out uh, as far as single note melody goes. So, um, B flat minor major seven. Let's discuss this chord very quickly and what triad we're gonna use in order to make it work for us because it's not a root structure triad, it's not B flat minor. We could play a B flat minor triad, but we're not going to. Michael, what's up man? Good to see you on here. We gotta catch up again sometime. We're gonna play an F major triad. It sounds like this. Right, this is a sh the shell voicing for B flat minor major. Root note, major seven, minor third. And on top of this, I'm sound of an F major triad. Okay, one thing you might want to do just to, to get your ears used to this relationship, this is sort of stemming from my imaginary piano player thinking, left hand, right hand, basic chord, basic melodic structure, B flat minor major seven, somebody called the jazz police again. Every time I start talking about ripping off piano players, the police show up. B flat minor major seven, simple shell voicing in the left hand, F major tried in the right hand. Uh, one practice you can do, it's more ear training than anything else, but it also helps us navigate the fretboard to like see these shapes is just play around just with the basic triad, F major triad, and then doing little kind of stabs or, or um, pads of B flat minor major underneath it. Just to hear the relationship and to see how they sit on top of each other. individual notes, chords, individual notes, chords, or you can actually play a note from the F major triad and a B flat minor major shell at the same time. That pinky, my pinky is playing the C note from the F major triad. I'm looking at the shape of F major in my brain. I'm just not playing the whole thing, I'm just playing one note of it. right over the B flat note. I'm not looking at my chord tones. I'm looking at F major triad, which gives me the fifth, the major seven, and the nine. So I'm 
jumping straight for some really hip sounds. There's no root, there's no third. Right, I just jumped up into another position. I went straight for an F major triad note, not for a scale tone, not for a B flat minor major seven chord tone, I went straight for F, as in F major triad. fretboard play an F major triad note and add the B flat minor major seven shell underneath it and it should give you a really nice four note voicing. Are they drop two chords? Are they drop three chords? Do I give a shit? I don't know. I Well I know that I don't give a shit. All I care about is the sound. Okay. Harmonic structure underneath a melodic structure. F major triad sitting on top of a B flat minor major chord. As simple a B flat minor major as we can make it. If you want to take this one step farther before we get in actually playing around with these ideas inside this vamp that we're going to talk about today, you can even get rid of the root note in the shell voicing and just do the third and seventh of the chord and turn these into three note voicings. trio a lot with a bass player, you might want to get rid of the root note and spend some time just getting used to seeing the third and the seventh of the chord. For this chord you can also do the third and the sixth. If you'd rather use the G note down here instead of the minor major seven, you can just turn this into a sixth chord, minor six. tension. There's nothing that interesting happening. We're just looking at the shape of the major triad over the minor major seven, getting used to where those notes are, getting used to the sound of the type of stability that it creates so that we can then add some melodic tension notes to it. And the melodic tension note we're going to add to it is tension flat six. This flat six is in relationship to the F major triad, not the B flat minor major chord. So we're going to play F major triad with a tension flat 6. What's the flat 6 of F? Can you figure it out before I say it out loud? It's D flat. D flat is a tension note against F major. playing D flat note, which wants to move back to the C for an F major triad, but we're putting it on top of B flat minor major seven, right? And it should sound very natural to the ear, but what's strange about this is that this is the third, the minor third, resolving down to the nine as far as chord tones are concerned. So we've destabilized the minor third of this minor chord. It's no longer a strong chord tone, now it's a melodic tension note. And the stable note is the nine. of Nika's Dream, which is the vamp we're about to apply this to, make sure you grab a copy of the PDF so you can look at this written out. Two measures of B flat minor major seven, two measures of A flat minor major seven. But what we're going to aim on doing is improvising based on an F major triad, moving down to an E flat major triad. Okay, so that's where we're going to start. We're not going to worry about the tension flat six yet. I just wanted to give you a little sneak peek of what we're going to be doing in about five minutes. At the beginning, I just want you First, to get used to seeing the geometry of the F major triad over B flat minor, 
okay, minor major seven. And then we can do the same thing with A flat minor major seven. Okay, we're gonna be using an E flat major triad. start with for right now. We're going to add in the tension note in a minute. We're going to add in some chromaticism in a minute. We're going to get some lines happening. But first, I just want you to practice voice leading back and forth over this vamp. It's a little bit quieter than I was expecting it to be. Let me redo this real quick. guessing game. It's just seeing the, the perfect notes 
and just going to them, even if it's a big leap to one, it doesn't matter.
that A note over a B flat minor major seven because I'm looking at my F major triad. I resolve to off the B flat note, off the root note, down to the major seven because it's a more stable sound for this minor major nine. triad pairs because I'm playing two major triads all a step apart so if you've messed around with triad pairs this might feel a little bit familiar but it's not triad pairs I'm thinking one triad for one chord one triad for another we could go through and we could develop a series of triad pairs like one triad pair for the B flat minor major and one for the A flat minor major but right now we're just keeping things relatively simple we're just looking at a basic triad over B flat and a basic triad over A flat um, I think we're going to kind of wrap up with that in mind. So the baby steps are play around with just C and the F major triad over B flat, the shell voicing. Right, so look for the shape and listen for the sound of it. find an F major note. You can do the same exact process with the A flat. They're going to be the same shapes, but they're going to look slightly different because everything is two frets lower. back and forth between them and try and voice lead that, that top melody note. think harmony and melody. Minor major seven chord and these one of these two major trides. Play around with that, then get a vamp going, B flat minor major to A flat minor major, and just play around just straight pure triads, half note game, then you can relax the rhythm and you can kind of play any rhythms you want. If you can hang with that, you can add in some leading tones, you can add in some chromaticism. If you can hang with that, add in that tension flat six. Okay? Uh, just little baby steps. Again, if you're in the study group, go back and, and re-watch the Triads for Life course if you want to, and just sub, sub in these chords and triads instead of the 2-5-1 work that we were doing there. Or was it, I think we did 2-5-1s and then we worked our way into Autumn Leaves. This is the same exact process, just a different chord progression. Okay, this is the opening vamp to Nika's Dream. Opening four measures, or really, I guess, like six measures. Uh, and very often when I play this tune, we'll at some point kind of vamp on this change, either for an intro, for an outro, for something. It's a great extended vamp for someone to improvise over. Um, those are the baby steps. If you're not in the study group and you haven't watched that course yet and you want a kind of slower, more practical step-by-step-by-step -by -step -by -step breakdown with etudes along the way, you can check out the course, check out our study group, um, or you can just take this idea and run with it. Tomorrow we're going to do some comping ideas. I'll probably stick with Nika's Dream with this chord progression and kind of explore it harmonically a little bit more. And then Friday we'll do something special. Friday is our advanced melodic triad concept day, so maybe we'll take something like this and, I don't know, maybe we'll turn this into our um, pentatonic scale, sort of like a melodic minor pentatonic. That might be fun. I don't talk about our pentatonics too often, but they are a lot of fun. But they should come after the quarter tonic. Learn to control the triad, then learn to hear and control the first 
melodic tension note, and then if we want to, we can learn to hear and control the next melodic tension note, which gives us a pentatonic scale. Okay? But start with this, and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Happy practicing. Hey YouTube, it's Jordan Clemens with NYC Jazz Guitar Master Classes and the Melodic Triad Study Group. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. I have a ton of content coming out on YouTube this year. We've been doing daily jazz guitar lessons, so I'm going to be posting videos like this pretty much every day. So if you dug this and you want to follow me, subscribe and make sure that you turn on notifications so that you can watch more videos like this. Thanks again for watching. Hope to see you in the comment section. Hope to see you in the next video.